I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. Yeah, we were friendly. He showed me around Arkham. Is that right? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I don't care what you saw. You weren't there. You don't know what happened. I realize that wasn't an unpleasant time for you. We're not here to dredge up ancient history. Then why are you asking about him? John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... It's so sorry, really. It's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, right? Now, for that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father? Well, no, but... Judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of money. Excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. He seems popular. <laughs> Much beloved. John, can I talk to you a sec? Bruce! I was hoping I'd bump into you. <laughs> Why don't we catch up over here? Yeah, I love that. We have so much to catch up on. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look, I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the jeans. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. I got you a little something, just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you. John, that's very considerate of you. Oh, good. <laughs> I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see. People get upset at the littlest things. <sighs> it hasn't, um... <sighs> it hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross. <laughs> you can't possibly mean that. Arkham is hell. It was my home, Bruce. And home is where the heart is. I'm almost sorry that I convinced Dr. Leland to release me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend. A father. A husband. A leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, 
getting you out of Arkham. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Many things to many different people. One thing remains consistent throughout these stories. I give you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew the moment we met. Friends for life. And now he's gone. A vital link in our chain. You see. I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends, made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce, that special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you, of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? Thank you, Bruce. Ooh, that's a good one. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I should warn you though, I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I wanna rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer, and worst of all, he's He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. Though I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. If I ever get my hands on him, I will tear him apart. You don't know how glad that makes me, Bruce. You and me, we've got the same taste in people. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. Leave his hole? You know where he is. No, not, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look. I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time.
an intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that camera flash went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Maury, huh? John thinks that Maury can get us Riddler's location. You believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Lily, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Dude, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. Feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh. I'm gonna ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense! Bruce! Uh, uh don't mind Willie. <laughs> We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So... That rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse! That's who you are! <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you're no killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway, 
I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I just should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away. Willie. What are you... Screw you! Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Not even you, John! Stay away from him. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Willie had a problem, and we took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling the Come on. <laughs> Better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic! <laughs> Cool! They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um... Wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. <laughs> I think I'm in love. It, it's, it's an odd feeling. At first, I, I, I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no, I, I think it's love. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least got to tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could. Please help me look good in front of her. I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. God damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. It, it did, I, I promise. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you. 
Bruce is a good sport. Wooden here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The Agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. Really got the heart racing. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Oh, gee, thanks, Pud. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. You really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It... Is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time, mm, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. You didn't have to do that. I didn't have to, but I did. Now pipe down or I'll go back and finish the job. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Now, Harley figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? Of course. Glad you could join me. Welcome to Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. All this is yours, huh? Kind of blur. Our place has way more personality. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens. The power plays, the boardroom scuffles. Oh, I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? 
I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. You gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, puds. All that slushy you drink has got you. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> To whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Mm -mm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. Yes, that would be a terrible idea. Bruce has a job to do, remember? Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. You need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? Keep your mouth shut, John. Or I promise you, you'll regret it. I can tell this means a lot to you, Bruce. You're using your stern father voice. I like it. You heard him. Shut it. <laughs> you got it. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Yoo-hoo! What the hell is going on in there? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you. To trust me, please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. John, a little help here? A real man would not need help. He would help himself. It's not like that. 
He knows I'm his pal. Why wouldn't I help him? It's cause we're pals. Mm. <coughs> hey buddy! It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office, and uh, making me look good. Hey, I'm just glad everything worked out. Did it ever? Handing that key over to Harley, giving her what she wanted, pure ecstasy. It, yeah, it was a big moment for me. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> when it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. I thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Well, then I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you'd do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Think she really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face. How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome, like super handsome. It's nuts, you guys, and where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. Harley! Brucey, come join the fun! <laughs> Keep your arms and legs inside the ride! Ah! Woo! Well, that was fun. Kinda. Be a sweetheart and give me a hand with the luggage. Damn it, Bane! Can you get in the damn car already? Okay. Forget you. I'm out of here! I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? 
I meant... Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm, good points. Take a two. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn bites girl? <laughs> Why am I even asking? I'll bring both. Well, there's never a dull moment with John around. Why do I get the feeling that's not a good thing? <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You, Harley. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent Puddin. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shotgun. I can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. It's not the abode of a man who asked me to steal a Renoir, that's for sure. Why don't you two go that way, okay? See if anyone's around. Come on, John. We'll go check the other side. <laughs> Meow. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> we snooped around. There's a police car nearby, but no officer in sight. And it could really use a wash. Maybe it's just placed there to scare off looters, but either way, we should be careful. Okay, let's find a way in. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry. I brought my key. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall who's boss. Hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? Bruce freaking Wayne. Unbelievable. Wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't need the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Wow! You have dynamite in those fists, Bruce? <laughs> that was wonderful! Can we wake him up so Bruce can do that again? No, John. Let's go. He won't be out for long. Come on, let's get moving. Hey, Bruce, I've been wanting to talk to you. Alone. You have? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. I don't trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. You're right, John. I am. Of course I am. <laughs> Watch out, in case she tries to make a move. John, we're friends, right? So I gotta ask, what do you see in Harley? A ruthlessness. The way her accent comes and goes when she's mad. The way she lets things escalate into violence. <laughs> Why do you hate Riddler so much? I've mentioned this before, but uh, he always interrupted me never let me get to the punchline it takes a lot of confidence to tell a joke you know made me look like an idiot in front of harley and those other guys well hey uh 
I guess I have the last laugh now. <sighs> <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, the green hair, what, what is, what is that? I don't know, what's with your black hair? I'm sorry, buddy, I'm a little sensitive about my style. No, didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I don't remember anything about myself before Arkham, and when I came to... Well, here it was. I guess it's natural. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe you could stay? Oh, no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. We'll go first. Make sure it's safe. Bruce? You... you care about me that much? And here I thought I was losing you to her. I'll be on the next one, so... So don't die before I get there. <laughs> He's... something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will, and maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. Because we're friends, John, this is between us. Oh, we are friends, we are. But Harley's... Harley? I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Not much to tell. She's just another criminal, John. She's only out for herself. Oh, you must be blind then, Bruce. I told you, I'm a watcher. And watching her, uh, she sees something in you. Uh, if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat, then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So, be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? To be honest, I, I don't. No one does. People lie to themselves about their true nature. Uh. So maybe I'm lying to myself. 
That would explain something I've noticed recently. I can feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, just looking for something to start it. The prison break. Now maybe stick with being nice until you figure it out. People appreciate kindness, even Harley. Probably. How does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. Bane is such a loser. Yeah? What are you gonna do to him? Snuff out his light. I don't know what she would say. <laughs> yeah, I'd kill for some front row seats to that. Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Boys, you love me! What do you think? Pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, that was okay. Uh, but can I make a suggestion? Stay on the subject I brought up until there's a more natural transition to another topic. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham Puddin'? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce, this is just uncanny. Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket, fuzzy even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. It's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. We are friends, and you're right about that. And, uh, our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? Your mustache? 
Waller ordered me to save it. Gas, how dare she? It's a symbol of justice, like the little hammers judges use. You think I don't know that, the Batman? I've had it since I was a baby. I can help, Jim. I have sharp batarangs. No! This is my burden to bear. I need one final night with my best facial feature. Alone. I want to feel it rustle the breeze that comes off the bay. Maybe get pizza cheese stuck in it for one last time. Jim, I'm... I'm sorry. It's okay. I hope you never know loss like this. <laughs> What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Uh, hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. Nice to meet you, John. Wow, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on. Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less? Give it to you. But, uh, and, and, this is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Nothing will happen to her. You have my word. All right, good. I'm trusting you on this one. Now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. Oh, this is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop, behind the stack deck. I'll be there, promise. Hope to die. Won't be disappointed. What do you want, John? Right, the, the laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. And uh, it's all yours. Yep, getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one.
Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine. And mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now. Alfred, keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. <sighs> He's here. telling me not to do it, and then the bat on the other whispering, Just get it, John. <sighs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? You must run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. Quite the opposite, in fact. Every time it costs you a little bit of yourself. I wish there was an easier answer. It seems like you can't do it very often. Or there'll be nothing left. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus, I bring you the Gorgon's head. So, is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. Well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me. Anything. What about those uh, boomerangs you have? I promise to only use it for, you know, hero things. Probably. <laughs> please? Pretty please. Fine. <laughs> so awesome! Battery. Long range weapon. Effective. Dangerous. Nailed it! Dead on! Your turn. On my hand. Oh gosh. <laughs> My hands are sweating. Use your free hand to help you aim. It'll follow your elbow. Don't overthink it. Just throw. Yeah. Oh, dang! It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Can I... Can, can I keep it? <laughs> hundred times a day until I get it. I'm working with you, Batman, and it's just been... <laughs> wow. What I meant to say is uh, it's, it's been an honor. If you ever need someone to watch your back, you know I'm good with a batarang. <laughs> and I have a lot of guns, too, if that helps. This is exciting. A new leaf to new beginnings. It was a pleasure working with you, John. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. I'd love to... Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, have your people call my people. Do you have a cape guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. I'm your man on the street. Literally. 
Laptop's gone. What are you- Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you seem to have made up your mind already. I guess one of us has to be the mole. But you've already cleared me. Trying to make me second-guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. It's okay, it's okay. You have to keep it up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Thanks. You hitting him already? Huh. I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there. Okay, John. That's what we'll do. Oh, really? I knew you'd see reason. I didn't expect you to see it that fast. Okay, 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 this is good. I'm calling her back in. Harley, we're done. Puddin, you might have surpassed the teacher. That was record time. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. Please? It was Catwoman. She took your laptop. How do you know? Uh, she, she took a phone call at Riddler's. Bruce overheard her talking about it. I understand, Bruce. I'm disappointed, too. So much for the solidarity of sisterhood. <laughs> And here I was, starting to be a cat person. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like... skin a cat. What is this? Watch closely. Oh, good! I could use a little color. The dear departed Riddler's gonna help us out. Very clever. Come on, we're taking a ride. Just so we're all clear, this is a smash and grab operation. We smash the lab, grab the virus, and then we're gone. A virus? Sounds dangerous and unpredictable. If used properly, it should allow me to cure my Nora. And I will be able to perfect the power of my venom. The virus can do all that? <laughs> this is so exciting. The moment we've all been waiting for. Ooh, we gotta get this one for the history books. <sighs> Make sure you get my good side. Okay, everybody. Say cheese. 
Come on. Squeeze in. Dusty in here, or is it just me? <gasps> hey, mister! Which way to all your most dangerous toys? <laughs> Someone's being a bad boy. No! Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Chop, chop, boys! It's the last mile. Waller, I'm in. Good. We're on our way. Do not let the pack get their hands on that virus, Bruce. I've got it under control. Talking to yourself, huh? John! It's, it's okay, Bruce. I talk to myself all the time. To be honest, my voices haven't been letting up lately either. I, I keep thinking... This virus was the thing holding us all together. It's what made us stick. I, I, I don't know. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried once it's gone, Harley's just gonna just disappear. I just don't think I could take that kind of rejection. You know, when you invest so much into something, it practically becomes who you are. No matter what happens, I've got your back, John. I'm not going anywhere. Come on. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> what? what is this? Built-in barbecue? We have initiated emergency protocol. We'll be incinerated. I would advise you all to get down on the floor. Should have brought my scarf. No. No. More lies. It's <laughs> actually not as hard as it looks. John. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. What the hell is this? You know exactly what it is! Where is she, John? Where's Harley? I don't think we've been formally introduced. Doe. John Doe. <laughs> you seem kind of familiar. Easy, John. This is Avesta. Special Agent Avesta. I'm John Doe. Lonely Hearts Club. Sorry to hear that, John. Do you think you could answer Mr. Wayne's question? Whoa. Bruce, this is a guy. This is a guy who has it all together. How many girlfriends do you have, Bruce? Color me impressed. <clears throat> she was here. Wait, she was here? Yeah. Where is she now, John? This is important. You got some real nerve, you know that? Buddy! 
Remember? The cafe. Just be yourself, John. <laughs> and you told me you'd have my back. We'd have each other. You and me. Bruce and John. John and Bruce. A and B. B and... You get where I'm going. And for what? She flew the coop. <laughs> I have nothing. You steered me wrong. At every turn. Every bad piece of advice. Everything blew up in my face. I was honestly trying to help. Well then, loose flash! You're bad at helping, Bruce. Like bad helping, Hall of Fame bad. You need some real answers, Bruce. There's no point. It's over. The pact, the dream, us. Not yet, it's not. She's still out there, with a deadly virus, in a city full of innocent people. Call me when you got something I care about. It always surprises me how heavy guns are. This was hers. It's all I have left. It's gonna be okay, John. I promise. I care, John. You know that. I'm nearly out of reasons to believe you anymore, Bruce. Well, it's been real. What are you doing, John? Leaving. There's nothing left for me here but a lot of bad memories and a weird smell. John, I understand you want to run. I've run before. But problems, they just come with you, no matter how far you go. Nope. Pretty sure I can get away from that smell. Damn it, John. Listen to me. I need to find Harley. I don't want to do this anymore. Not for you. Not for her. Certainly not for Gotham. I don't care. John, please. This is important. I know it hasn't been easy for us, but I am your friend. Okay, buddy. Look, the agency was here. They took the blood. I was up here in a very dark place. They didn't find me, but Harley did. I told her what happened to Riddler. She gave me this. And where do you think Miss Quinn is now? We'd like to find her sooner, rather than later. I don't want to find her! My heart can't take another kicking! I don't ever want to see her again! She ruined me! I, I can't! Help me bring her to justice. It's what she deserves, John. Just can't say no to you, Bruce. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. That Wayne charm gets him every time. You sure know how to spin things. All the right ways to uh, twist my arm. It's going to take me a few hours to find her. I have to check a few places, do some things. Okay, we'll come with you. <laughs> no. You won't. Look, I can see you've tried to be nice, but I, I just need some time to think, or whatever. This is... I need to do this alone. I'll call you when I find something. Wait, hold on. We'd really like your help, John. Are you sure you won't reconsider us coming with you? I did. And it's a hard pass. It's okay. Go. Bruce, let's talk about this. He'll come through. He's done it before. It's funny. When you first walked through that door, I honestly thought you came here to check on me.
John? Quinzel. This is Harley's. Easy on me, you know? What are we gonna say to Bruce? It, 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 it wasn't me. I, I, I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self defense. I, I know it needs work. Stop judging me. You agent. You should never have come here. It's about boundaries, you know? This, this place, it was special to me and Harley. Came here to hide from people like you. And you rudely show up uninvited? You, 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 you were uninvited, weren't you? But how do I know? Bruce didn't send you after me. He's so buddy buddy with the agency. No! Bruce wouldn't do that. It was like this when I showed up. Bruce? I'm so glad you're here. Please, it just... It, it's, it's not what it looks like. I, I can explain. Just try and reserve judgment. Take a deep breath, John. Just calm down. It was horrible. Just horrible. But you're, you're right. I, I should do my exercises. Get, get a hold of myself.
what happened. Is Harley here? She left just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up. I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> you think this is funny? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. <laughs> I wonder what Harley would think of the new color scheme. <laughs> you said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Oh, really? In the back. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I, I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in. Okay, well, it sounds, it sounds like you did what you had to do. Exactly. It was a real life or death moment. I just sort of. Close my eyes and hope for the best. I felt so much rage inside me, Bruce. It was terrifying. It was like... It was like I became someone else. Someone dangerous. But someone you want around when your back's against the wall. Well, I hope you're okay now. You think you're back to your normal self? Normal. Yes. I feel much better. Thank you. You don't have to worry about a thing. It was a momentary episode. A, a flash in the pan. It won't be a problem. I, I promise. You, you believe me, don't you? You have faith in your good old buddy John, right? Of course I believe you. Oh, good! Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't sure I could count on you. Not after you drank Harley's slushy when I told you I was in love. Not after the raid. It's been hard knowing you haven't been straight with me, Bruce. Keeping your secrets. When we're supposed to have all this trust between us? Everyone keeps secrets, John. Kind of the gig. Oh, Bruce, there are secrets, and then there are secrets. Yours is definitely a secret. You forget. I know you. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, criminal, bat. Ooh. Dun dun dun. You can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. You are the Batman. You kind of gave it away with the laptop. Bruce wanting it, and Bats wanting it. Too much of a coincidence to ignore. Well done, John. But you figured it out. I've got to say I'm impressed. Only because you underestimate me. I had some doubts after you gave up Catsy to a room full of murderers. But then you had to maintain your cover, didn't you? For the greater good. 
So what? You think you can use that against me? Huh? Blackmail me? I would never! We're two threads in the same stitch, remember? Oh, my head feels all messed up right now. I need a purpose. I know where Harley is. She took a truck out of the city, across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. You and me, Batman. We can clean up this city together. Unless... Uh, uh, unless the stitch is truly broken. In which case, uh, we should both go our separate ways. When this is over, we will have a very serious talk about all this. But right now, let's go find Harley. We'll bring her in together. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Bruce. You're going to such great things. Uh, oh, sorry about the blood. We've got to catch up with Harley before these murderous agents find her. She's got explosives and the virus. If they start shooting, things could get really exciting. Oh boy! Remember when you said you could buy me a car? I think I'd like to take you up on the offer. Even if I wanted to. I mean it! The bridge and every sad son of a bitch on it! The blood is gone! The serum you want is no longer an option! Stand down now! No one needs to get hurt! I said get back! They're gonna kill her, Bruce! They're gonna shoot first and ask questions later! I can't just stand here and do nothing! We can't let that happen! We'll keep her safe, John. You don't have to worry. Hearing you say that really calms my nerves. <laughs> Wayne, about time you showed up. What in the good goddamn is he doing here? Director Waller, John Doe's, uh been aiding Bruce's investigations. This creature's with you? Amanda Waller, meet John Doe. He's a trusted friend. I'm, uh, I'm here to defuse the situation. I have my doubts, but hell. At this point, I'll try anything. Harley's making demands we simply can't meet. Her detonator's on a dead man's switch. She lets it go. This bridge is history. This situation is rapidly spiraling out of control. I'm running out of options. Harley is heading towards a cliff, and she's gonna drag all of us with her. I can talk her off the ledge. Just give me a moment with She won't listen. All she wants is Riddler's goddamn blood. And that's gone. One of my own people destroyed it. Someone inside the agency. The serum Quinn wanted to make is off the table for good. Let me try. <sighs> Give it a shot, Bruce. See what you can do. Stand down, people. Let him through. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. Harley. Never thought I'd see you again. Thought you'd cut and run after your cover was blown. All I want is Riddler's blood. I get it? I leave Gotham for good. That agency hellbeast says she don't got it, but I know she's lying through her teeth. Her people took it from Valea. Hey, I hear you, Harley. You're the one in charge. Just 
Don't do anything rash, and I'll see what I can do. Uh-huh. Sure. You're gonna tell me you love me, Wayne? Excuse me? I like a little romance when I'm getting screwed. I'm holding all the goddamn cards. Either they give me what I want, or I play the one that goes BOOM! I ain't fooling around. I'll do it without a second thought. Listen, I have pull with these people. You turn yourself in. I can protect you. Good, Bruce. That's the way. She just needs to see she'll be taken care of. I don't need protection. Never have. Way I see it, you need protection from me. Stand down! Bruce, you got her warmed up. But let me take it from here. Uh, Puddin'? Let me talk to her. I know her better than anyone. I'm so glad you're here, baby. These deadbeats want my head on a stick. You can do it, John. I believe in you. I won't let you down. I have everything worked out. Up here. Trust me. I learned from the best. Okay, just... Just what? Try and reason with her. She thinks you have her best interests at heart. I got this, Bruce. I'm just gonna be myself. Just like you told me in the cafe. Hey, don't worry about a thing. With all these people watching, how can I not live up to the occasion? Those two reprobates getting their heads together is a recipe for a disaster. Thinking. Let's talk this through like grown-ups, Harley. What do you say? John said it himself. He knows her better than anyone. As long as he keeps her talking, there's still a chance she won't blow the bridge. There's truth in that. Not enough to inspire confidence, but it's better than nothing. Not one bit. You've got to be kidding. This is going south. We're going to shut this down right now. If we interfere now, we could push her right back into Harley's arms. If we don't, everyone on this bridge will die. Stand by to move in, people. Alpha team, move into flank. Take your positions. Look for a clean shot. What the hell do you think you're doing? You gotta trust him, Waller. I'm telling you, he'll come through. With a marriage proposal, maybe. Not a successful resolution to the crisis at hand. You need to have faith. Stand down. You backstabbing piece of crap! Don't struggle, Harley. They think you're a fighter. They're gonna put you in the hole. I'm gonna rip your head off, you co-diamond son of a- Get her out of here. How could you, John? You broke my heart. Bruce showed me how to be good, Harley. In a way you never could. Thank you for your help, Mr. Doe. You did a great job. The virus, please. I don't think so. I don't think anyone should have this. Least of all you. Well then, we'll no longer be requiring your service. No! He helped us! You betrayed me! After I saved the day! <sighs> you agency people! You're just the worst! Find that bag! And get Quinn in the truck immediately! Where's Wayne? I want him secured! Subdue him if you have to!
good to know you have my back. John? You corrupt pigs. You're supposed to stand for justice. But you liars. And you murderers. And you're so goddamn rude. What the heck? What's wrong with this thing? Come on. Why won't you just work? Yes! sooner. I've had to stay low. Real low. Like, underground. Every time I pop up, Waller's idiots are there, and they don't seem to care whether they bring me in alive. I gave her Harley, the girl of my dreams, on that bridge. And what did I get for thanks? Waller tried to shoot me. The only thing she cares about is getting this virus back. If that ain't happening... Well, I'm sick of keeping out of sight. I put together a little crew. It's time to get things moving again. I plan to bring them all to justice. You don't talk? We're gonna end this right now. We ain't giving him up. He cares about Gotham. You're all gonna pay. What you and your agency are doing here isn't right. Ah! Tell me where John Doe is. I ain't no rat. That's too bad. Rats have a knack for survival. Kill him. Ah! Batman. These agents are crazy, Batman! They're gonna kill us! This stops now, Agent. Waller said you'd be trouble. That you'd protect John Doe. But I'm thinking, that can't be right. Doe's a monster. And these clowns here? They call him a hero. That's not what you think, right? John is my friend. Yes, he's made mistakes. Grave ones. But he doesn't deserve to be hunted down by the likes of you. That's disappointing. You help them, you're helping him. And if you're helping John Doe, you're the enemy too. Fire! Hit him again! What the hell?! Sorry, I'm late! Almost missed my own debut! John? Nope! 
better than John. Come on, partner. Time for some justice. <laughs> <laughs> He's open! <laughs> Deadly force authorized! Well, this is unlucky. For these guys. Thanks. Willie, Frank, Lauren, thanks for hanging in there. Who's hunting who now? You and me, Batman. Fighting crime! <laughs> Together! We make one heck of a team! Don't you think? We do make a pretty good team. Right! We're gonna do such great things! I know it! John? Yeah. Joker! What? There is no more John Doe. <laughs> it's Joker now. It's my hero name. Like, you know, Batman. I tried out a few other ones. Birdman, Hawkman, Fox Batman, The Giggler, Chuckle Master, Lord of the Laughs, and The Joke Man. You know, I like it. Oh, I thought you would. It's a name people are going to remember. We've done good work today, Batman. Waller still doesn't have the virus. We kept the agency from killing my friends. Tried two out of four new moves. Wait a second. Wasn't that Harrison guy, like, right over there? Drop the asset! <laughs> You're working with them? Director Waller promised you revenge. Here's your chance. Get out of here! We're not leaving you. Me and Batman, we've got this. Remember. The director wants Batman alive. I don't care what she wants. Do as you're told. Pathetic. <laughs> 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 That's gotta hurt him. 
Right? <laughs> I will enjoy tearing your head from you! <laughs> Enough with the monologue. Finish the job! You pitiful little man! Pull that monster off! Let go! <laughs> Use the car. Drive it into Bane when I give you the signal. Don't die before I'm ready. Now, we can do this my way! my friend. What are you? Riddler! Waller told me what you did. You let Batman defeat him, and then you struck like a coward. No, I didn't, Batman. I, I, I didn't. You would work with such a man? A murdering coward? I said I didn't kill him. Waller's a liar. I didn't kill Riddler. <laughs> What was that? You... I can't... I, I can't believe you! You shouldn't have stopped me! Don't you remember who this is? Look how many innocent people he's killed! He almost killed you! Again! He just needed one more time! Good stab to an artery, and it would be over. You can't be a killer and a hero. It's one or the other. Says who? Not history. Do you think that... Okay. Okay. Heroes like us don't kill. Even when they're wrongfully accused of murder. Why does Waller think you killed Riddler? Uh, I, I don't know. I... She probably did it. She's probably trying to pin it on me. But I didn't. You know that, right? <clears throat> Batman, you, you're hurt. Stay where you are. You are both under arrest. We gotta get out of here. Alfred. Bruce, are you all right? I need a quick patch up. And I'm not alone. I'll come to you. Sending coordinates. Must be John. He goes by Joker now. You know who I am? Bruce has mentioned you, yes. Really? What'd you tell him about me? All good things, I hope. Alfred knows you're a friend of mine. And any friend of Batman's? Bruce, I know. We're tight like that. Uh, yes, he informed me. That's great! No secrets between us. We're all part of the club. Wow! The Alfred! I've been collecting tabloid photos of Bruce for years, and you're in the background of at least a third of them. You're hurt. Let me have a look. Ah. 
Let's get this off you. I'll take care of stapling the wound. Can you... I'll prepare the compress. Can I help, Alf? You mind if I call you that? Please don't. And thank you, this is a one-person job. Oh, okay. I could just listen to you speak all day with that accent. It's like a Dickens novel come to life. I bet it comes in very handy around Christmas. Maybe... Maybe I was British before I come. Does this sound natural? Oi! You there, boy! Get the Queen her beans for breakfast! How's that sit with you? Not well. Your honesty is appreciated. So, I'm dying to know. What was Bruce like as a little tyke? An angel. Perfect in every way. Really? Yes, if you discount all the terrible, terrible things he did. <laughs> I knew it! I bet it was quite the production getting this one to go to bed. Even when he was little, he was probably like, No, Alfred. I am the knight. <laughs> Alfred, where does one go to learn butlering? Is there school? Is that what the B in MBA stands for? It isn't. My father served the Wayne family. And well, when my service in the military concluded, I was looking for something with a similar structure and discipline. Something more familiar than a normal civilian life. I, I hear you. I felt that way when I left Arkham. I took over my father's role, and now we find ourselves here today. Wow! The military, huh? G.I. Alfred. G.I. is for you Yanks. B.I. British Infantry. No. Did Bruce mention Waller took a shot at me? Uh, he did. Yeah. You gotta be a person of pretty high import to get on her radar. Public enemy numero uno over here. She wants you dead, jo Joker. <laughs> yeah. Well, feelings mutual. How many rooms does Wayne Manor have? Are, are there wings? Yes, I divide it into wings for ease of management. And I suppose the room count is based on your definition of room. Four walls? Well, do you consider the larder a proper room? Or the tack room, the conservatory, the scullery, the rotunda? I, I don't know what any of those words mean. Holy crap, Bruce! You are so rich! How old is the mansion? Is it considered a historical place? Oh, is it haunted? You ever hear any bumps in the night? No, it's quite poltergeist-free. Well, I, I would have thought, uh, you know... Uh, Bruce's parents knock around, just checking up on him. <laughs> well, I know if I died, I'd certainly haunt this guy. <laughs> so, Joker. What's up? That looks a lot like a batarang. A batarang? <laughs> no, I don't even see how you'd think. Uh-oh. Yeah, maybe. 
but, but it isn't. It's totally unique. It's a Joker Ray. Uh-huh. They're really warm. They've been in my pocket all day. I said I'd throw it a hundred times a day, and I did. I'm a real Deadeye now. Well, good work. <laughs> I certainly thought so. You've got a new look. Awesome, right? You'd be amazed what you can find in thrift stores. But also in mannequins in fancy stores when no one's looking. Certainly makes an impression. Well, I was aiming for a... Batman. But me! Dark. And scary. Like my best bud. But also flashy and fun. <laughs> it finally feels like... Right skin. Uh huh. When you jumped off the bridge, that was one hell of a drop. What happened after? <laughs> that was crazy, right? <laughs> it seemed like a fast getaway, terminal velocity and all. Anyway, I hit, sploosh, and it was dark and cold and wet for a while. Then I ended up grabbing onto some flotsam. Or, or was it jensum? No, 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 it was flotsam. Floated on that until I hit the shore, found Frank from the stack deck, and got some dry clothes. Gave me a different outlook, you know? New lease on life. <laughs> Glad it worked out. I should get back to my arm. Of course. <laughs> I don't want you getting gangrene. That's gonna have to come out. Well, this ought to be fun. <clears throat> Guessing there's no way this doesn't sting. should do the job. Alfred's always been there for me. After my parents died, he became the person I could count on the most. Everything in the line of duty? Sure, Al. Oh, you guys are so cute. Alfred, I kinda got hurt in that scuffle, too. Do you think... Um... Oh, come on, it's hardly a... Please. Mm. In, in a really heartfelt, caring kind of way. It's Waller. Batman. We know what you did, Waller. You're gonna regret. Sorry. Sorry. So you're with our mutual friend. Good. It'll make this convenient. I want John Doe. Joker. I'm sorry. John Doe and the virus. In two hours or I go public with your identity. I don't want to burn you down, Bruce, but I will. Let's talk about this. Actions speak louder than words, Bruce. The virus, your Joker, at the GCPD, two hours. She's going to kill me! Kill me or turn me into a slave like Bane! And look what happened to him! I don't want to have some maniac stab Waller me. won't stop coming after you until she gets the virus. But we can't give it to her. We have to destroy it. We do? Why? Not that I'm second-guessing you. I just want a reason. 
You wanted to be a hero. This is how we do it. This is how we keep people safe. With the virus gone, Waller won't see you as much of a threat. Well, I don't like the sound of that. She's going around telling lies, pinning murders on me. She has to pay for what she's done. I could put just the slightest hint of virus in Waller's shampoo, or maybe her perfume. Technically, I'd still be giving her the virus. I only want to see her melt. A little liquefy her insides. A tiny bit. I thought I made it clear. Heroes don't resort to murder to solve their problems. No. But it's so effective. I don't know. Dr. Leland did say I had trouble letting things go. No issue. So what am I supposed to do? Give up my grudges? What am I gonna lie awake at night stewing over them? It just makes me so angry. You have to rein in your darker impulses. That pain will only rot you from the inside out. Uh. Well, if you say it's the right thing to do, Trusting you on this. Now, right here. That's it. That's it. Completely inert now. <laughs> Joker, Bruce and I need a moment. Oh, okay. I'll uh, check the perimeter. I'm relieved to see he listens to you. You can balance him out. Just don't take your eyes off him. Coast is clear. Waller has leverage on me. We need a countermeasure. Perhaps someone on the inside can help. Someone who's lost faith in Waller's crusade. You have someone on the inside? Agent Blake. Sacrificed himself to protect Agent Avesta. I don't think he's the best option. I mean, on account of him being dead. Agent Harrison. Deceased, courtesy of Bane. Jim Gordon, formerly Commissioner. Jim has no love for Waller, but without being on the inside, it's a long shot he'd be able to help. Arlene Quinzel, currently in the agency's custody after the incident on the bridge. God, they better be treating her right. She's not the best with rules, or authority, or cafeteria dining. <sighs> Selena Kyle, MIA since escaping the murder box in the subway. Agent Amon Avesta. She changed her tune about Waller after the raid on the Sanctus facility. If she's looking for a way to fight back, you could give it to her. She's our best bet. Batman. Waller's threatened to reveal my identity if I don't hand over Joker and the virus. I need some information on her. Something to negotiate with. Well... You came to the right person. When do you need it? I'm meeting her at the GCPD in two hours. Meet me on the roof in one. I'll have a little present for you. We're taking the Batmobile? We're taking the Batmobile? Heroes of Gotham. 
<laughs> We're not here for a fight. You need to make yourself scarce. Waller is only a few floors below us. All right, I'll do the dignified thing and hide. So if things go south, I can surprise them from the shadows. <laughs> Hand over Doe. You know he'll be better off locked away. Better for himself and for everyone else. Otherwise, we're even. Me and my people are out of this godforsaken town. I won't look back. I won't betray him. Not even for that. Then our business is concluded. For now. No! No, 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 no! That's not acceptable! Not at all! What the hell? It's John Doe. Oh, put in! Come out, come out, wherever you are! You've got the biggest villain in Gotham right in front of you! And you're just letting her waltz on out of town? That is so very disappointing. You're a hypocrite. You're letting her off the hook because of what? Because she has a badge? Given what she knows, it's the best I can do. You're letting her off the hook. You think you're some kind of force for justice, Joker? Don't you see how ridiculous that is? What's ridiculous is that anyone believes your lies! You blame me for your crimes when we both know you killed Riddler! Are you serious? Think whatever you want. You will never be a hero. How dare you? You're worse than me. That makes me the hero. And this is is what heroes do to villains! What are you doing? Doing what you apparently can't! Shining a light on the shadiest part of Gotham! Kill him! With pleasure! Not yet! gave me a little upgrade. What do you think? Rat, you I'm going to give you the sentence you deserve. Joker, stop. You and your Batman, the caller. Catwoman, detain Batman. The rest of you, take care of Doe. <gasps> Back off, cat lady! That's enough! You're cornered, Batman! Give up, Joker! Now! Or I'll take you both down! Last chance! <laughs> You think you have us cornered? <laughs> 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 
Captain, no! Get out of the way! Move! Batman! What are you doing? get here. Agent Avesta, she managed to get you into the Batmobile. The car arrived here and and I tended to you. It must be nice to be reminded that you have friends you can count on. And then there are friends who do things like this. He could have killed you. He nearly did. Alfred, John is just he has trouble controlling his impulses, and sometimes he acts without thinking. Okay, maybe more than sometimes. I know you care for him, Bruce, but he's hurt people. A lot of people. And I... Well, I'm sorry to say, but it's only gotten worse. Computer, bring up all live news feeds. Filter for the word Joker. Gotham is still picking up the pieces after a man calling himself Joker led an assault on the GCPD. There has been no confirmation whether Amanda Waller, director of the agency, is still alive. The pursuit led onto the sidewalk where frightened citizens don't recover. Officers chased the madman for hours after the attack, we know but that lost him in the chaos. Eleven people were seriously this injured. This incident has many wondering: who is the Joker? Where did he come from? And where will his reign of terror end? You advised him to try and rein in his urges. Reports have confirmed eight casualties. And you appear to be waiting for him to succeed in that, after everything he's done. You helped make him, you know. Excuse me? This Joker? From the start, John has hung on your every word. Bend over backwards to please you. Your influence is everywhere in him, even the part of you that is darkest. And now he is that. I can't give up on him, Al. There's still a chance I can bring him back from the edge. You're not... What, Al? Nothing. <sighs> I'm sorry, I... Uh, I shouldn't have said all that to you, the, the shape you're in. I've had too much time to think while you've been recovering. Careful now. All the way up, Batman. You have to put a stop to him, Bruce. I know you will, but... Whatever feelings you may have had for John, don't let him use them against you. You can't allow him to cloud your judgment. It's not that easy, Al. He was my friend. I can't just treat him like every other criminal. Then you'll need to be on your guard. Hey! <laughs> 
Got a visual on Joker and Waller. Doesn't look like he's hurt her. Not yet. I'm in the rafters, out of sight. Say the word if you need help. Thanks. Bruce, I know you and Waller have your differences, but she doesn't deserve this. I take complete responsibility. Batman! So the camera can pick it up. Took you long enough. Batman! Thank God! I mean, I assumed you'd be okay. You're Batman, for Pete's sake. But still, are you okay, buddy? I was really worried about you. I'm fine. Of course you are. No way would a couple pesky bombs take you out. <laughs> Things got crazy on that roof, huh? I had to do something. Waller was about to walk away, but get this, I'm this close to getting Waller to admit to every terrible thing she's ever done. And when that's over, I'll deliver her punishment. It'll, of course, have to reflect the enormity of her crimes. The only enormity I'm seeing is your jail sentence. God, I really don't like you. Waller needs to go to trial. Maybe spend the rest of her life in a cell, but not whatever this is. Do you know how long that would take? You know, I, I don't know why you're not more into this. Think of everything she's put you through! Everyone is disposable to her, even her own agents! I know I've made mistakes. You try to do the right thing, but there's always a cost. Just ask your pal Batman there. He'll say the same thing. I do what I do for a reason. I'm not ashamed. Don't play innocent. I play to win. When I lose, good people die. You're totally right. She sucks! Let's keep the show rolling. We've heard your excuses. You didn't mean for people to get hurt. Collateral damage, yada yada yada. But... There's one crime that can't be excused. You killed the Riddler! And then you tried to pin it on me! I didn't kill him. Like I said... It was you! You killed Riddler! Say it! I will not. If there's one thing I learned by watching you, violence solves a lot of problems! Now! Damn it, Batman! Stay out of my way! You need a distraction. Will I get my confession? The way Boss talked about you, I thought you'd be bigger. things your way. I want to just slice her throat right here, right now. But I'm getting proof of her guilt, just for you. This isn't my way. Really? Today, this isn't your way? You're just saying things, trying to trip me up. Just like Waller. She justifies her crimes, says they're for the greater good. Just like you. You both use that word. Justice! 
as an excuse! So you can do whatever you want! I thought you and I were two threads in the same stitch! But it's not me. It's her. I am justice. What I do keeps Gotham from becoming the swamp it once was. I've given everything to protect this city. Delusions of grandeur much? Yet another thing you have in common with Waller. Trying to do things your way was a mistake. Waller killed Riddler. <gasps> and she deserved death! It wasn't Waller! Tiffany? I can't let someone else pay for my crimes. Waller didn't kill Riddler. I did. I know it was wrong. Now. Oh God, are you kidding me? These are the people you want to protect. I should kill them both. Everyone here is guilty. <laughs> this, is a, this is a joke. Leave them out of this, Joker. This is about you and me. Tell that to your distraction over there. I used a drone and these. There's your proof. You want to sacrifice yourself for Waller? Then go ahead. Uh. Just hold on. Murder is wrong. Trust the system. Violence isn't the answer. People just pick and choose what they believe. And you're no different. I got her! See them! After everything we've been through together, this is how it ends. I'll get you help. I won't abandon you. You want me to go back to the beginning? To Arkham? Where it all started? I've come so far since then, Batman. Because of you. I believed in you, Batman. Like I never believed in anything. And it was all a lie! John. <laughs> That's enough!
<laughs> I was such an idiot. I was so busy looking at you, admiring you, wanting to be like you, be loved by you. I lost myself. Not anymore. it. I really wanted to be a hero, you know? <laughs> but I, I, I just can't. I know you used me. I, I know I should hate you for that. <laughs> but I, I don't. Good time with you, Bruce. Did... did you ever... Did you ever think of me as your friend? Like a, a true friend? So, someone you actually c c care about? Of course. Of course you were my friend. <laughs> you are one messed up guy. Visitor for John Doe. Bruce! <laughs> We're two threads in the same stitch, bound together, even under strain. <laughs>